If you want to become a doula, it's not so much the desire to be in a profession, so much as it's like this compelling pull from within. Because I have to say, it is not convenient. And here's the thing about callings, is that they're never convenient. Ask yourself if you're okay with losing sleep because you're gonna lose a lot of sleep, honey. Hey, Refinery29, it's Latham Thomas. I'm founder of Mama Glow. We're a global maternal health company, and guess what? We train doulas, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. So come on in. So the really amazing thing about doulas is that they can work in any setting. Doulas do not substitute midwives or doctors, right? We work alongside as a team. My pathway to becoming a doula started, I think, with, you know, childbirth education in the home, in my mom's pregnancy for sure. It extended into my own experience with my son being born. I ended up stumbling upon this amazing birth center called Elizabeth Seton Childbearing Center. It was the only freestanding birth center in New York City. A freestanding birthing center is a space that is self-governed and run by midwives. The experience I had as a Black woman where I had full autonomy over my body, over my health choices, was critical in my foundation for self-advocacy. How you're born really matters, because it was calm, it was peaceful. There was love in the room, I was laughing, and then I was in this transcendent moment. On the other side of that birth, 20 minutes later, I said these words. I said, I have to protect this experience. If you're at a point where you're ready to begin your doula journey, take a course. Courses are structured in various ways. Some are weekend training programs. Some are several months. Some can last up to a year, depending on how they're structured. In our course, you get a certification packet, which you basically document all your field work. So for the certification, it is reading of the books, writing of the essays, attending the three births, if that's what's required, and then it is doing your CPR certification, uh, breastfeeding observation, newborn care. So after you do doula training, when you come out of there, you need to have a WhatsApp group. You need to have some sort of a private group space where you guys can stay connected. I think that's really important. When I first started out, I had a partner that was really good for our lives at the time. You could also have a larger collective where there's say like six or so of you. Also going on your social media and announcing, hey, this is what I do now. I'd love to serve. And offering maybe something like a 15 minute consultation that's maybe complimentary. These kinds of things could be interesting. Maybe doing an Instagram Live where you answer questions. Open the door and expand your lens on opportunity and bring in the skills that you already have to help bolster what it is that you're selling. For so many of us, it's very hard to talk about money. And this type of work, work of the home, what's particularly been classified as women's work, all that work is undervalued. So people do not want to pay doulas what they really deserve. And so in this work, you have to be able to know your worth. And asking for a number that I can actually, you know, back up. And then when that comes, I'm ready to hold that. I'm ready to hold and live up to that number. A day in the life of a doula can be really interesting because some days it can be really calm and everything seems orderly. And then there's some days where everything is chaotic and lots, lots is happening. Typically speaking, folks may take on two to three clients, possibly four a month. Most people are taking one to two a month. In that time frame, you have regular meetings. The initial meeting that you would have where someone gets to know you and decide whether they want to work together is generally a meeting where you come together either virtually or in person, briefly to kind of just talk about your goals for your birth, a little bit about your health history and what you're looking for in a doula. After you've decided you want to work together, you contract and then the appointments after that are generally three at minimum. And those are around an hour and a half each. Now in a post COVID world, there's a combination of virtual and in person. Sometimes there's more, but a minimum of three appointments. And this is critical because you can't know anybody in less than that, right? Like if I come to your birth and we only met once, <laughs> how, how am I going to be of service? Another key thing about doulas in this time that we're living through, where the U.S. is the most dangerous place in the developed world to give birth, and then we look specifically 
at populations of color and specifically black women in this country, where we're four to five times more likely to die during childbirth or due to childbirth related causes, having a doula can be not only life affirming, but life saving. We really need more doulas and we need people who want to pursue this work to help people at every juncture along the reproductive continuum. If you are feeling compelled to pursue birth work, now is the time.